Jensen Height is here. She is a female impersonator and making me feel terribly underdressed. We actually coordinate today. We do, right. we do. But this I, is this casual day wear and this is the evening. Like, you know, <laughs> the day to nighttime look. all in the same look. <laughs> That's right. Um, we, it's Pride Week and uh, the big parade is coming up this weekend. And you've been involved with Pride now for 10 years? I've been working Pride about 10 years now, yeah. And so this year you're performing in a number of different venues. So what, I, I mean, this must be a blast to perform because everyone's in such a good mood. It's like Christmas for the gay community. That's how we see it. I mean, it's a constant celebration. There's a party. There's always something happening. Uh, wonderful festivities. Great uh, public support. Great corporate support. So we get lots of, you know, we, awareness and notification. People get to see us and we get to have fun with it. How long have you been involved with uh, Pride in Toronto? Um, I've been watching and, and participating in the actual events probably 15 years but I've been actually working performing um, working in the community being part of the parade for the last 10 I would say how has it grown in that time I think uh, the biggest thing is corporate I think when I first started it was mainly the bars on the street the the businesses that were directly involved in this sort of lifestyle were the ones that were putting on the floats and having the marchers, etc. And now you see corporations, the banks, you see um, the TV companies, you see Viagra as a big sponsor this year. So all of them are getting involved in having big floats and having, you know, big awareness and, and big campaigns to help promote it and show it and make it fabulous. So it's just growing and growing. And, and for people who are watching um, who have never attended a Pride Parade before, this is open to everybody absolutely and it is just I, I was saying to you during the break I used to go uh, every year and then I had kids and I have no free time but <laughs> it is so there is such a, a, a fun happy atmosphere absolutely it's, a, it's about welcoming it's about um, tearing down walls and opening up people's perceptions of gender of sexuality and just celebrating who you are and what it is you believe in and what it is that's important to you and making that a day and our weekend or a week out of that mm -hmm. and celebrating that mm -hmm. so what will your your uh, performance entail um, a little bit of this a little bit of that I don't have specifics I sort of change performance depending on location depending on venue depending on the audience um, Saturday I'm actually on one, the Viagra pride stage as they're calling it so it's at church in Wellesley right in the middle they build a big stage right in the middle of the intersection so I'll be there in front of all the thousands of people that are out that day mm -hmm. um, it'll just be normal top 40 dance numbers we'll have interaction we do a sing along and all sorts of fun stuff right so on that main stage you'll have a lot of performances dancing, they have performances singing. all weekend I think they the first show starts at one in the afternoon it goes till about 10 30 at night so man so that will be a big be hub i don't do the whole time i literally because there's so many entertainers in toronto we usually get like a 15 20 minute segment each right. so i do like i'll do 15 minutes on saturday do you know how many people come into town for for pride it's it's just a it's astronomical the number yeah, i thought i heard it was close to a million people I, last year i heard it was three really? million oh it's three, three million. million yeah like yeah. millions of people not come necessarily all involved but yeah. uh, the day of the parade about three million people come to watch the actual parade wow i used to live in the village and it was absolutely like the streets are packed all oh, throughout yeah. the whole By tomorrow weekend. night, they'll close all the roads. The church street will be closed pretty much. I mean, much. this is a big weekend. It's, a, it's the Canada oh, for Day tourism, weekend. It's mm -hmm. massive. You got oh, yeah, the Euro it, Cup, you, you got the soccer on, and then you've got Pride. And you got the weather for it, too, this Absolutely. year. Absolutely. Do you have a favorite part? Of the, whether it's a performance of the party? I think the whole thing is great. I think there's many aspects, and I think. Personally, I try and enjoy all of them. Um, Friday night is the trans march for uh, transsexual, transgender people. So Pride isn't just about being gay or lesbian or bisexual. It's also about uh, discovering and, and exploring gender. So that's Friday. Saturday is the dyke uh, rally, so all the lesbians and dykes on bikes and all that good stuff. And then Sunday is the big parade. So I really think to experience all of it, you need to see all of it. You need to go to all those three major events, see the community, see what they have to show you, and, and experience it and enjoy it. Mm -hmm. um, is it... it is it on your radar in the community that the mayor's not coming to the parade? Absolutely, or is, but yeah. we're getting used to it. I mean, it's been years of, ne I, I, neglect is a strong word, but it's the word I'm going to use. Mm -hmm. It's a, He's not comfortable, so therefore just ignore the situation. I, now he says he, he's going up to the cottage with his family. Exactly. Well, what do you say to that? Again, he's not comfortable, so let's make excuses to not have to deal with it. It's my personal opinion. I right. think if you're the mayor of a town and you have such a large... Um, population of your 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 city mm -hmm. that are celebrating this major event and this major milestone and bringing so much business so much in tourism so many people to the city why wouldn't you celebrate that you don't have you know we're not asking you to put on a leather skirt or dress and drag and run down the street we're just asking you to show support 
Right. Say hello, say thank you, say welcome, say something. Not, I'm going to the cottage. Right. And a, a, a huge event is uh, going to be happening in 2014 as well when World Pride comes Absolutely. to town. Absolutely. I didn't know that. I just found out. Uh, so that if if we think it's big, just <laughs> year now to year. Now it's only going to get bigger. Yeah? Is there a World Pride every year? I don't know. Or is it honest. like the Olympics? Like, like every four, <laughs> every four, every four years. Every four years. Honestly, this is the first time I've ever heard of it. Yeah. Was yeah. when last year, we found out last year that Toronto won the bid. Right. But before that, I had never heard of World Pride. So again, it was a new thing for me to hear. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but I guess we'll see. Get well, ready. Wow. Yeah, I, I'm sure it's going to be huge. So you are performing at... Cruise and Tangos, the new Church on Church, and the main stage at Church and Wells. Absolutely. So nice to have you here. Wonderful to meet you all. Fahrenheit, thank you so much. Thanks for getting up early. I haven't been to bed yet, but I'm okay. Have you not? <laughs> Doing I that work, makeup uh, has I to take a little I bit of time. I worked last night till 3 a.m. So did wow. you? Yes, 3 a.m. Oh, so you I just kind of laid still. Really? Well, you look fresh as a daisy. Oh, I like a man that lies to me in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> I hear that, sister. 20 minutes past 8 o'clock. We're going to take a break. We'll be right back.